Hi students, it's Mrs. Shomara Takata. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about the rhyme and rhyme, uh, the rhyme and rhyme scheme session section. But I'm actually going to just be talking about rhyme, complete rhyme, partial rhyme, end rhyme, internal rhyme. So actually, the first five bullets. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to present this to you. Okay, so what rhyme is, is the repetition or repeating of the same ending sound in two or more words. So again, rhyme is the repetition or repeating of the same ending sound in two or more words. So there are two types of rhymes when we're talking about um, for our study. Uh, we have a complete rhyme and a partial rhyme. Complete rhyme, uh, we would indicate it by circling it, writing a complete circle around the words and putting these two dots, two lines over it. And complete rhymes are words whose final syllables have the exact same sound. Exact same sound, okay? It's, it's exactly the same when you listen to it. A partial rhyme, when we are writing on a poem, you would show a partial rhyme by doing this partial circle and the two lines, okay? And partial means part. So in a partial rhyme, words whose final consonant sounds almost rhyme. They don't have the exact same sound, they almost rhyme. So we're gonna go on to some examples. So here are some examples of complete rhymes. Cloud has that owd uh, sound. Shroud, O-U-D, owd. Proud, O-U-D, owd. Crowd, O-W-D, but it sounds like the O-U-D in cloud. And loud, O-U-D. Okay, so complete rhymes don't have to be spelled the same, but they have to sound exactly the same. So here are then some examples of partial rhymes. So we have the same word cloud, but now we're focusing on this owl song, a sound, okay? Round, and it doesn't have that d at the end. It's not the whole end, but it has this owl sound. Brown, has an ow sound. Shout has an ow sound. And plow has that ow. Okay, so let's go back. Whose final syllables complete is a uh, complete rhyme is uh, words whose final syllables have the exact same sound. So it's all the way to the end of the word. Now this, they rhyme, uh, they almost rhyme, but they're not all the way to the end. Okay. Um, and so in poetry, we have an end rhyme and an internal rhyme. So an end rhyme is where the poems rhyme at the end of the lines. But an internal rhyme is where a rhyme happens within a line, in the same line. Okay, so we're going to show you some examples of that. So here is an example of an end rhyme. If this was part of a poem, I am a cat, I wear a hat. That at sound, and they're both at the ends of the lines. However, if you took uh, that I'm a cat in a hat, and then you made it in a different poem, I jog in the fog, this at and hat, do you see how it's in the same line? That is considered an internal rhyme. I jog in the fog. It's where these rhymes happen in a single line. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna stop there. So um, you're gonna want to maybe refer back to this um, video, but for today, I'm going to go into your assignment. Today's assignment 
all you are responsible for is doing slide 13 and 14 and we're just going to be talking about internal rhyme okay so you should have completed all of these other previous slides and now you are on slide 13 internal rhyme so the directions say identify the internal rhyme in each line so once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary okay um, you would type in here the words that rhyme okay and so you will just do those and then here again uh, you are finding examples of internal rhyme in the following poem this first one has been done for you the splendor falls on castle walls see how it is an internal rhyme it has this alls and alls and falls and walls and they're in the same line falls walls and so you're going to find another set in this section of the poem. Then you're going to find two in this section of the poem. And then you will go to the next slide and find two, oh, sorry, and find two in this section of the poem. Okay? All right, so that's your assignment. Um, please try your best. Remember, uh, you're learning these things so that you can include them in your poems when we get to the parts part of this uh, project where you're going to be writing your own poems. Okay, good luck.